Good morning, YouTube. Long time no see. Okay guys, boy do I have things to tell you. Um, I've been trying to post videos for weeks now and it seems that everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Uh, let me get to school and I will explain more. a lot this morning so my frozen coffee is now just a regular coffee friday but still good nonetheless okay so now that we're settled where do i even begin on my youtube hiatus um so the first like two weeks or so like i had i've been meaning to get a video out but like school was just kind of consuming my life and like i was tired and there was so much to do here so like that took priority um and like after that I started recording videos and then I was like I feel like I'm just recording to record like my vlogs weren't very great and I was like I don't want to put something out there that's not like what the people want <laughs> um, and so I was like you know what I'll give it one more week and then I finally recorded a video and I was excited to post said video and my technology just like failed on me and I'm really sorry if you didn't care to hear that whole spill but I just wanted to explain anyways Today is Friday, so I'm going to pull some groups. We took a CSA, which is like our summative assessment over our characters unit last Friday. So this week we've been doing test corrections and I'm going to pull a reteach group. Um, one thing I've been doing that I love, wait here. I've been using Charlie and the Chocolate Factory to talk about character traits, character motivation, this has been a game changer. This is a not so wimpy teacher uh, strategy. She talks about how she introduces the concept, they talk about it a little bit, they practice it a little bit, and then she talks about how she reads a mentor text and they just really do a lot of like discussing. So I thought I'd give it a shot this year. I mean, we're only in our first standard, like we just finished our first one, but like I love this idea. I plan on using it um, as much as I can. Um, with different books, of course, that's after we finish this. We're actually set to finish it at the perfect time because we have it to where we could actually watch the movie and then use that as like a hook to get the kids' attention and to get them excited for our next essential standard, which is comparing and contrasting. So super, super, super excited about that. As I'm sure you can tell from the fact that my makeup is wearing off from my mask and my hair is no longer curly, it is the end of the day. Uh, we had a great week. Uh, I think I said it earlier, but I have a phenomenal group of kids this year. I love them to death. We are rocking and rolling, and I'm just really proud of them. We have a lot of fun in the classroom, and it's just going awesome. Um, for those of you who may not know, my county is on a five-day schedule for grades K through five, and so I see my children five days a week. We do not teach digital and in person, so you are either a digital teacher or a face-to-face -face teacher in this county, and I'm obviously face-to-face. So, we are operating on a five day a week schedule and I love it. I'm so glad to be back. The class size, my biggest class has 12 and it's awesome because I get to pull small groups all the time and it's just great. Like I was able to develop relationships a lot quicker because there are half the kids we usually have. So that's been awesome. 
um, a lot of our kids are still digital and they'll be coming back at different points in the school year, I think. But I think our parents have had to kind of like lock in a nine week, like minimum. So I could like make your choice for the nine weeks, but we're having some slowly start trickling in. So I'm not sure if that's going to stay that way, but for now, that's the way it's looking here. I'm always game to get new students though, because the more the merrier, it's great. But anyways, that is what's been happening here. Um, again, sorry for my hiatus. I just thought that they needed all of my attention at the beginning and then I had all the tech issues. But enough about that. I thought it would be cool today since I already talked about the character unit and everything if I just kind of showed you an update of what I'm using this school year. My teammate and I, the other reading teacher, she and I did a lot of reflecting on last school year and kind of what went well, what could have gone better. We have gotten some new curriculum and I'm loving it so far, so I thought it would be awesome to share that with you guys. So let's check that out. Um, this is the Not So Wimpy Teacher Writing Bundle. It's got all the different um, genres. It's got personal narrative, fictional narrative, um, informational and opinion writing. I printed it all out because I like hard copies and I disc bound it with my Happy Planner hole punch. Anyways, um, right now we're doing fictional narrative. So I'll flip to that page and it has by the week and then it's got like week one day one week one day two and so on and then at the end she's got all her resources she gives you a rubric um, there's anchor charts for the students um, I shrink these and put them in their notebooks so that they have their own personal copies and they can draft on them and whatever she's got mentor text like so far we've really loved this I will definitely keep you posted on this resource as well as all the other ones I tell you about to let you know how I like them as the year goes. But off to a great start. Highly recommend. So this is my guided reading shelf and I've really been enjoying the content that I have for this year. Um, guided reading was an area I really wanted to improve in because I didn't feel like it was a strength of mine last year. Um, I have my levels divided by palm tree, flamingo, and pineapple because I find it is more discreet and the kids aren't able to tell um, ability levels based on that and I have the bundle I have D through Q from Simply Skilled in Second. I have chosen to print them and disc bind them just so that they're easy for me to use. You guys already know I like to flip my books back on themselves but let me grab one of these and I'll show you. This is level J and so it has three fiction texts, three non-fiction texts and then all these different little resources that you can use and support running records and then you get to like the actual lesson plan itself it's a three-day lesson plan you can follow this up with some of her close read um, they're like brochures they're super cute I'm excited to start using those we haven't got to it yet but I'm really hoping next week we can there's the QRI codes and then I like to link them in Google Classroom you have links to Google Drive resources up here so that you can um, do this digitally if you needed to. And then you have the cute little story. And then after that, she has everything you need. She's got uh, the running records again. She's got questions that prompt. She's got activities. She's got word work. Just all kinds of awesome stuff here. And I would show you more, but again, this is a paid resource. And I know that they put a lot of time and effort into that, so I don't want to show too much. But... I've really enjoyed these and just like the writing unit, I will keep you posted on my thoughts on it as the school year continues. Speaking of the notebook, this is an interactive notebook that I've implemented this year. I have it divided into grammar tabs, reading and writing. The writing and grammar are all not so wimpy teacher. I love her products. And then the reading tab is honestly just a hodgepodge. It's got some not so wimpy teacher. Um, I shrink some of the anchor charts just a little bit of everything. I really, really love these and the students are responding well to it. So this is what the classroom looks like at the end of the day. Um, I have a, a great group this year. Like they're awesome. They're pretty neat. Um, super grateful for them. But the thing that bothers me are these desks because like it's not the kid's fault, but like it just kills me how they don't stay in a straight row. Like it messes with my OCD, but it's okay. I'm just glad to be back in person.
And every day after my students leave, I drown these desks in like the spray that kills any germs on them. So I'm going to do that real quick. Someone has stolen my coronavirus spray. Who did it? Um, this is like a public apology because no one took my spray. I just don't remember where I put things. It's right there. Well, as you can tell, I am now in the car ready to head home and enjoy a weekend. It has been an awesome week, but you girls tired, so I'm going to go home and just kind of relax this weekend. I worked really hard to get all of my gifted endorsement work in early so that I could enjoy the weekend and not have to worry about anything. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another one of my videos. Until next time, bye guys!